in this video i'll show you how to get your own design onto a t-shirt using adobe photoshop welcome back to the channel my name is tjam and today i'm going to be showing you how to put your design onto a t-shirt in photoshop and we're going to be using a t-shirt mock-up from Envato Elements, right? This video is sponsored by Envato Elements and a special thank you, thank you to them for sponsoring this video and for your guys' support, my subscribers that have made this possible. So we're gonna get our mock-up from Envato Elements. So let's just go ahead and head over to Envato and look for a mock-up. So here we are on Envato's website, so cool. And then we're just gonna go ahead and search in the tab for t-shirt mock-up, right? And you can see you have some search terms right here and we want to look for t-shirt mock-ups in graphic templates, right? That's what we want. And this is so cool. This is the one I like. And let's click on it and let me show it to you guys. And as you can see here, we have a host of variations of this t-shirt presentation. Let me click on it to zoom it up for you and you can see we have the full t-shirt right here we have this nice folded one with the um the wrapping the presentation label you know from the vendor we also have this one with and without the label right here this is pretty cool we have a close-up of the tag here let me go across there's a full one and you can see it comes with the tag and the sleeve and the the hem thing right here that's so cool so premium right like a real premium t-shirt and i'm liking this one and i think we're gonna use this one today so i'm just gonna download this by clicking download and then i'm gonna open the file in photoshop so let's hop into photoshop so here we are in adobe photoshop and here we have our t-shirt mock-up this is the one i chose to use you know we also have another one here that we got in the one that we downloaded just now with the folded t-shirt right and I think I like these two and I'm just gonna stick with them. And let me just show you over here in our layers what we have for working with, right? We have filters here that we can turn on or off. You see that it changes the appearance of the t-shirt, right? See that? Retro is looking pretty cool. And we also have the items, you know, the actual t-shirt color, the fabric, stuff like that, that we can change right and then we also have the presentation now the presentation will be the actual elements like if you click this right here it turns off the tag look at this see the tag is gone and the uh the labels on the sleeve and on the hem right here and you know they have the base obviously that's the base color if you turn the background off the background disappears so you can really get creative with this and make it your own right now what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and drag a design that I've made from one of my t-shirts onto this, right? And I can also use it on my website to promote my merch in addition to some photos that I took. I recently took some photos of my friends and myself in some of my merch. So I can also add this to the websites to get, to get a pretty cool, clean product shot, right? That's not on a model, right? So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going into items and I'm going to look right here for this layer that says front graphic, right? And if I double click on that, I'll be able to edit this smart object by just placing my design in this window and then saving it, right? So let me just go ahead and go to my design, my design where I have it. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag in the graphic designer red block design, right? So I'm dragging that in and I'm just placing it. But let me size it down a bit some more. Let me just size it down here. And I think that's fine, right? Let me just place that. There we are. And then what I'm going to do next is just press Ctrl and S to say what I did in this smart object. And then it will reflect on the actual design, right? Let me just go back to the t-shirt. And there it is, right? But obviously it's too big. It's taking up too much of the shirt. So what do I do? I just size it down, right? Shrink it down, right? Let me go ahead and hit Ctrl and T for my transform options. And let me just like size this down a whole bunch, right? And just move it up some. Um, 
now we can just go ahead and hit Control s again to save it and then go back to our t-shirt and see what the changes we made right see we have it here what i can do next is i can just push it up some more if i wanted to right but this is looking pretty good so far and what i'll do next before i go any further is just to save this right let me go ahead and hit Control shift and s on my keyboard and i'm just going to go ahead and name it lspv t-shirt um mock-up design right and go ahead and hit enter and now i can just continue making more changes right and now that i have this design on here what i can do is i can move this up higher right i can just come back into my front graphic um move the graphic designer red block up higher Control and s to save my smart object and then i can go back to my t-shirt and you can see it's there right it's it's at a better position i would say what do you guys think i think i like it better there and then what i can do now is just go down to my presentations folder here my presentations group open elements and i can just look for these it says label right here the label on the bottom edge which will be this one the label on the sleeve which will be this one and i want label on a string and i can just turn that off and it should remove this right here right let's see perfect it's gone right and what i can do now is i can just use another t-shirt design let me just show you um oops <laughs> let me just show you this right here go back to front graphic fetch another design from my folder and you would recognize this graphic probably probably because it was the very first t-shirt that i printed <laughs> let me know if you recognize this design right Control and s to save but first let me turn off the red block then go back to my t-shirt and you can see it's right there right what do you guys think and let me say i wanted to change the color of this t-shirt right let's say i can just go to um my items look for t-shirt color it's right here expand the smart object by clicking on the bottom left icon and then i can just go ahead and double click on this again this shape and just change the color to whatever i want let's do a light yellow and then let's hit ok Control and s to save the changes we made let's go back in our t-shirt and look at that right how simple was that let me go down to my tag my t-shirt tag the tag on the edge right here let me find it in my layers um, label on bottom edge let me double click on that and what i can do is i can just create change this to one of the learn your colors right here let me just go to layer new fill layer new solid color okay and let me just choose can i choose the larger orange from here um, let me just freestyle it uh, <laughs> is that the learn shirt orange i don't think so but let me just pick it and there we go that's looking a lot more like it Control and s to save now let's go back to our t-shirt and look at that the label is orange right how cool is that and if i wanted i can add my logo here or i could write some text right let's go back to it i can either write um hashtag lspv the text is orange so you're not seeing it let me change it to white and i wrote that text by hitting t for my um text tool right or type tool I'm just changing the text here. I'm just sizing it up, making it a bit bigger. And then obviously because this, the tag is vertical, I can just rotate this vertically. And let's see what we got. How about there, Control and S to save each change you make in whatever element you're working on and look at that how cool is that right let's do the other one the one on the sleeve so we're looking for a label on the sleeve over here in our layers here it is double clicking and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to literally copy these two elements the font and the color from the control and c to copy i'm literally just copying and pasting it to the label 
on the sleeve, Control Shift and V to paste it in the exact same coordinates. And all I can do is just press Control and S to save my changes. Then I can go back to my T-shirt and look at that. But I probably want to flip it the other way, right? Because it's upside down now, let me go back to it. And let me just flip the LSPV the other way. Let me just rotate it the other way, right? So it points down. Um, yeah, that looks good. Go back to my t-shirt and that looks much better. And I can do the tag as well, but let's just leave the tag as white for now. Next, I want to just um, change the background color. Here it is in my layers, background. And then I can just double click on this. See, it says, this instruction says, click twice to change the color. So I can just click twice and I can just make it like white, right? Control and S to save. Let me go back to my t-shirt. Did it change? Hold on. Did that change just now? Let's go. Let me close some of these elements. Was that color changed or am I not? Wait, let me change it to another color and then let's see if it changed. Wait. No, it didn't change. Control and S to save. Oh, yes, it did change. No, all right, let's go back. Um, Control and S. Oh, that, that is white. All right, now let's try and add a filter. Remember, I was mentioning the filters earlier. Let's add a retro filter here. I don't know how cool is that? A warm filter. Um, dirty filter. Oh, I like the dirty filter. I really like the dirty filter here. Let's see what we got going on. Full screen. Um, I like the dirty filter, but I also like the retro filter. But here's the thing with the retro filter, because it's, um, it has that red in the middle, it may be a misrepresentation of the design, right? Because the design is actually blue like this. Um, I like this, I really like this. I really like the dirty design, the dirty filter, but let's just keep it as is, right? Control and S to save all our changes. And then let's do Control, Alt and S to save it as a JPEG, that way we can post it on Instagram. And we're just gonna go down to JPEG, save and maximum quality and that's it we slapped our design onto a t-shirt mock-up you want to do another one let's do the folded one all right so let's go to our folded t-shirt right here let me go ahead and zoom in <laughs> and this looks so cool right remember you saw earlier in the video they have a host of other mock-ups in this pack right but i'm just choosing to use these two that i like right next i'm going to look for front graphic right here just like we did double clicking on the smart object icon and then i'm going to fetch my design from my folder and let's use the creative plus right creative and more let me size it down some more and i'm going to just add a color overlay because it's white right now well actually let's leave it white right Let's leave it white. Let's go back to our t-shirt. You see it's there. You can barely see it. Let me change the t-shirt color. Uh, let me change the t-shirt color to a nice little blurple. <laughs> and then, okay. Control and S to save. Let's go back to our fold. All right, that's looking pretty cool, but you can see the design is way too large, right? Now let me go ahead and just try and size it down the design on the front, right? Let me size it down. Control and T for my control options. Just size it down some. How about there is cool? Control and S to save. And then let's see what we got. Alright, let's see what we have here. And there it is. It's looking pretty cool. Let me turn off the labels on the strings. Presentations, obviously the presentations group is what you're actually seeing, right? It's what's actually there in your design. And I'm just gonna turn off the label on the string, right? There we are. And you can see the design is peeking out. That is pretty cool. I can even move it up some more if I want. But let's just leave it right here for now and just let me change the color of this tag 
from white to the learn shear orange, right? Mm, label on the neck. And then let me just add the learn shear orange. Or do I want to do yellow? Yeah, let's do yellow for this one. Let's do layer, new fill layer, solid color, color fill. Okay. All right, control and S to save that. Oops. Control and S to save that. And then look at that label. And then I can go ahead and I can slap the LearnShare logo on here, right? Let me go ahead and go back to that label on the neck. And then let me fetch a black LearnShare logo and drop it on there. And then let's move it above the yellow fill. And how cool is that? Let me size it down some. About there, control and S to save, right? All right, how cool is that? The Learn Share logo is on a t shirt tag, right? And there we have it. That's all you have to do. Then you know you just save this. Let me save it by hitting Ctrl, Shift, and S to save it as. And then let's name it. The first one was what? LSBV, LSBV t shirt design, t shirt mock up design. Let's name this t-shirt mock-up design bracket folded close bracket, right? Okay, control shift and S. Do I want to change the background to white? Let me change it to white. All right, control and S. Let's go back. Let me close all these adjustments that we made. All right. So you can see there the background is white, just like this one. And then there we have it how cool is that and now you can post this anywhere to promote your merch right i'm really liking this yellow one with the blue design what do you guys think which is your favorite i really like the yellow with the blue i really really like it so here's my question of the day to you guys have you ever designed a t-shirt mock-up to present to your client or to present as your own design to show or market to your potential clients that you can do t-shirt designs as well as mock-ups let me know in the comments below and what did you think of all that we did here today remember i'll put a link in the description to this t-shirt mock-up that we used from Invata elements and i'm also going to put a link from Invata elements themselves they want to give you 70 percent off a month's subscription from their website and you can download unlimited mock-ups you can download this t-shirt mock-ups and a lot more graphic templates right unlimited for 30 days check the links in the description once again a special thank you to Envato elements for sponsoring this video and to you guys for supporting the channel to make it all possible thank you thank you so much for watching this video once again my name is cjam and i will see you guys in the next video